Messi, Di Maria, Lautaro, Dybala. Behind these big names in the attack of the Argentina national team, fans rarely pay attention to Julian Alvarez. At least they didn't before. And now the Man City forward has probably pushed Lautaro out of the starting lineup. And in this video, we'll tell you what makes this guy so special. Subscribe to our channel and like this video. Let's get started. In 2011, when a very young Julian Alvarez was asked in this interview what his dream was, he replied to play in a World Cup. When asked who his football idol was, he took less than a second to respond – Messi. It was also interesting to see this photo where a young Alvarez took a picture with his idol. And 11 years later, Julian starts at the World Cup group stage decisive match with Leo Messi, scores a goal, his team wins and is true to the playoffs. A real football fairy tale. But let's rewind to the very beginning. Julian was born in an ordinary Argentinian family, where he grew up with two brothers. The boy began his football career in a club academy at his hometown of Calcine. The kid's talent was obvious, and at the age of 10, already scouts all over Argentina knew about him. A year later, rumors about the nimble striker spread beyond the borders of the continent. Julian received an invitation from not just anyone, but the Real Madrid Academy. Such a chance couldn't be missed and the boy went to the capital of Spain for a whole month. There, he excelled in matches for the children's team, scoring two goals in five matches and was even able to impress Florentino Perez. But imagine the Alvarez family's disappointment when, due to problems with the transfer paperwork, Julian wasn't allowed to sign a contract with Los Blancos. As a result, the boy returned to Argentina and took a different path. After spending a few more years in the academy of his home club Gaichin, it was time to take the next step. And Alvarez's choice was River Plate. I'm going to River Plate, because I'm a fan of River. Also, the club has the same colors as club Calci. Julian explained his choice. After spending several years in the youth team of Los Millonarios, the team head coach Marcelo Gallardo brought this striker to the first team, where in four years he helped River win all the most important trophies, including the league title, the Argentina Cup and the Copa Libertadores. In January 2022, Alvarez's transfer to Manchester City was announced, where he was supposed to move six months later. And then Julian found out that he would go to the World Cup in Qatar as part of the national team of Argentina with his idol, Leo Messi. It should be noted that Alvarez can't be considered a rookie in the national team, because he was even part of the team that won the Copa America last year. However, at that tournament, Julian was included into the match squad only twice and spent a total of 34 minutes on the pitch. Nonetheless, the experience was invaluable. It was in Qatar that his time to shine came. At the World Cup, Alvarez started out as a substitute, getting 30 minutes of playing time in an opening two rounds. But Julian's good game, as well as the bleak game of Lautaro Martinez, who was noted for simply terrible conversion of moments, opened the way for Alvarez to the starting lineup. In the decisive match against Poment, Alvarez came on in attack with Messi and Di Maria and took advantage of his chance. The Argentinians made the most of Julian's advantage over Lautaro. First of all, we should mention his versatility and hard work. Lautaro is more of a center forward who's focused on goals, whereas Alvarez is capable of playing in any position in the attack. This became a problem for the Poles because Alvarez's presence allowed Argentina to painlessly switch between 4-4-2, 4-3-3 and 4-3-1-2 formations depending on the need. Of course, Lautaro can also play in each of these formations, but Alvarez's versatility allows him to cover Messi and Di Maria and occupy any position in attack, and not just a center forward. Here, for example, in this defensive situation in a 4-3-1-2 formation, Alvarez works in defense instead of Leo Messi, allowing him to save more energy for offensive actions. You can't expect that from Martinez. It's his efficiency without the ball that makes Julian a perfect partner for Messi in attack. In attack, the Messi Alvarez duo also demonstrates good mutual understanding. Just look at this episode in the 73rd minute of the match against the Poles. When Leo brings Julian one on one with the goalkeeper, and the forward perfectly sends the episode and makes a timely and intelligent sprint for the pass. 
In general, Alvarez's style suits Messi a little more than Lautaro's. Julian likes to run behind defenders, opening up for Leo's signature passes from deep. But at the same time, he often drops to the middle of the pitch for inner plays and to recover the ball, which also frees Leo and makes his existence easier. Alvarez is the scorer of the second goal against Poland. It is a true example of combination play and individual skill. Before the ball ended up in Wojciech Chesney's net, the Argentinians completed 37 passes in a row. And this is a new World Cup record. Alvarez received a great pass from Enzo Fernandez and expertly executed a shot into the far corner. By the way, the link between Fernandez and Alvarez is the comeback of last year's River Plate. It was these two who led River to the league title in Argentina and are now shining in the national team. Alvarez demonstrated all the above virtues back at the River Plate. Here, for example, he makes a competent run from deep. Here, he drops to the middle to receive a pass and frees up space for partners. This is how Alvarez's game is described on the coach's voice website. He works hard to create space for teammates in central areas. With his extremely intelligent movement, he is constantly on the lookout for space to offer a vertical passing option to his midfield teammates. He moves on the blind side of the opposition's central midfielders and looks to receive before combining with others close by and below. Midfielders can then make a run beyond him into the space he has created in behind the opposition. Once he receives the ball, he does not overcomplicate things and will often play the simple pass with his back to goal, before then spinning out to get into a position where he can threaten the goal. In addition, Julian has earned a reputation as a goal-scoring specialist in the first-team debuts. He did it on his debut for Argentina, then in the English Premier League, then in the Champions League and now at the World Cup. Guys, what do you think? It is fair that Alvarez took Lautaro's place in the Argentina national team starting 11 and can he become the breakout star of this World Cup? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for this episode. Take care, and we'll see you very soon.